Hello, and welcome back to Banner Saga. Soaring shards of smoky glass just ask, ask you from the ground as you flung there here. At first, it looks li like more of the inner earth's strangeness until you realize that these are splinters of the black sun. Images reflect off the mirror to surfaces, creating an illusory army of ravens as you walk through. Well then. I thought this place was bad before. Now there's six of ditch. The nauseating, sweaty warmth still radiating from the fragments has everyone eager to pass through the pay wind. I stopped at one with his hand pressed against the glassy surface, looking at its own reflection. One A wind, it's time to go. I hardly recognize myself. Be yours. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't compare the reality of what I must do is sinking in. We're getting close. A wind stares out into the distance. Now's not the time for second thoughts. It was always such a long way off. There was more time. Time for what exactly? A wind sighs heavily. I don't reveal it already, but there's something you may not have fully grasped. Something she forbade me to tell you. She worried it might change things. No more secrets. The only way the black sun will return to the sky is for Juno to seal the darkness within. So she has to stay there, trapped for eternity. A fate worse than death, and it was my fault. All she's done since is fight tooth and nail to make things right. All she's ever done. You can see anger spreading across Awin's face. It almost looks as if he's drawing energy from the sun and shard. But if there's another way? Even with the sun broken, there must be energies enough here to destroy the serpent. That might... it might be enough. And it may not. Why shouldn't I try? Why should I be listening to any of you? A wind. Think of your friends, your own Arborak. A wind's mouth become a thin line, and some of the fire in his eyes goes out. You know. I apologize. My thoughts have always been difficult to control ever since birth. My mother was the head of the Valka in her time. When she had a boy, the council was worried. The males of our kind have always had a touch of madness, varying degrees. My father couldn't contain his own. I suppose that kind of power would be hard for anyone. It's a curse. I am only alive at all thanks to Juno, and she has kept this power within me from spilling out. When she spoke to me in a dream at Einar Toft, I wasn't even sure it was real. I had gone so long without her help, I was starting to lose control again. Everything she's done was to heal me, and for that she suffers. Can you imagine being so powerful and so weak at the same time? I can imagine. And with nuts, you feel that you've earned more of his trust. I'm just going to say it. I'm starving, and I don't mean it in an expression. I'm so hungry I may die. The caravan is getting precariously low on food, and nobody dares to drink the water that pools in dark crevices. You're feeling it yourself. The stone singer seems to understand, though you've never seen them eat anything before, scraping a hard, bell shaped object from the cliff walls and handling it to you, a motion like opening a book. Eh. I thought it was just more craggy rock, says Spa. Making the thing. It was hard 
obsidian shell that was cracked open a strikingly bright pink plant resides within, squishy to the touch. Looks like a mushroom, it doesn't smell strange or display the same warped weirdness that everything else does. There seem to be quite a few more stalking onto the cliff side. So, who's gonna try it first? Spar wonders aloud. Uh, step up and take a chance. It tastes like a mushroom, but slightly sweet. A couple minutes later, you're actually feeling stronger, a bit more energized. The others cautiously gather handfuls and eat as much as they dare. You swear the cover moves a little faster than before. Keep a friend company, Alphon beckons during a short rest, passing a lonely rock at the caravan's edge. Innocent enough, but you see alternate motives on her face, brighter than the white flower in the distance. You have something on your mind. You, Ivra? It's funny, I thought I should hate you. Many sculptors are my friends, and you are one of them. And you are who they call their children to fear. But I don't hate you. The more about you, I know, the more I like you. Is that really what you wanted to talk about? Straight to the point. Eowyn and Juno, they trust you, don't they? But I wonder if they ever earned your trust. Yes, they have. Trustworthy and loyal. Do you have any thoughts, Laura? Now, you know, she may be weaving a little tra truth, but step back, look at the whole tapestry, the real terrible power, perhaps you've noticed. It's exactly why they made the Order of Menders. <laughs> look over here, we're only healing the sake, building houses. Pay no mind to the madmen on ivory towers, turning the world inside out. I've considered it. Come closer. Eowyn created a fan immortal. Can you comprehend? Juna can die. But if that wasn't their goal, was it? Was it? What is immortality without power? Misery. No. I think they are trying to make a god. To make themselves gods. Don't tell me you believe they've come so far just to undo it. I do. Then wake up! There's no more room for ignorance in this tiny bubble. Say nothing now, I'm not asking you for promises. But a time will come, and soon, I think, when you'll see the truth unfolding before your eyes. When the time comes, look to me. Trust your instincts. Juno and Awid are not the only ones who know how to twist the threads. I will make certain that they claim to be doing is what is that? I've got to live here too, you know. A distant rumble approaches, and all the things it will be race through your mind. Someone shouts, Earthquake! as the ground backs beneath your feet. Violent shaking peels rock sheets off the nearby cliffs. They crash around you in great billowing clouds of dust. Is everyone alright? You shout in the aftermath. Knew I recognize you from somewhere, Valgot shouts. He's swinging at Oli with clenched fist. This bastard tried to push me into the falling rocks. There's a confusion and the dust clear. Straight at Raven saw the thing of steam with chance of fight. <sighs> what is this about? Only murdered a world in Strand back when I was guard captain. I never got a chance to thank him for all the good friends who were killed as a result. Liar! I've never even been to Strand. You're both lying, Jonah interjects in dark mood. Only travel to Strand where he did ignite the war, but no one was pushed toward falling rocks. And if you both wish to keep your history in the past, both men pale from Juno's icy wars, realizing they can keep no secrets. That 
earthquake was no coincidence, a wind says during the subject. Same as when the serpent carved chasms through the earth above. Be on your guard. Stop the caravan. The Everyone's reluctantly take the moment to catch their breaths. That's Belor on our heels, so we can't just ignore it. We all know how this is going to end. You know what happens if we make a stand against Belor. If the serpent awaits us at the tower, then we'll have to face it with Belor at our backs. And that's no option at all. I've always wanted to meet Belor. Seems like the time. Who else wants to see a legend in action? By which I mean me. If, okay. if I'm going to die down here, may as well be against the Sundr. You won't come back. Who's going to take you there anyway? I'll go. Uh, what? For what? Why? You forgot. I know the Dredge. I've spent much time here. I can speak to him. And I'm the only one who can create my own light. At worst, I can distract them for a moment. At best, maybe we learn something. Nothing about Alf Alfun's willingness strikes you as all. She winks slightly. If he doesn't want to talk, that's what I'm hoping. Won't be the first time I vanish without a trace. We'll meet again up the road. I'm not going to be able to talk to you, talk you out of this, am I? No, but maybe you have a message you want me to deliver. Hmm. Better if my name isn't mentioned. No, tell him I'm sorry. Interesting. I'll try to be convincing. Alfin conjures a light of her own. Do not watch us, but makes no move to stop her. So, you, this cliffs are homes for the dredge? Because I'm starting to see a lot of movement ahead. Whatever you do, bitch, don't scream. This time, the shifting shadows in the corners of your eyes are real, ahead and behind. The odors have noticed and are quietly pulling blades, flickering like a school of fish as they press together. Our earth shaking how echoes of stone as if surrounding you. Bellower, somewhere out there, fear seeps in you against your will. They are warped everywhere ahead, clustered together to slow your progress and more dots the horizon. We're so close, says Volgard, and you know this frustration. Charged big food, I guess? What are we waiting for? An invitation from Blower? Push through! Ah, oh, got it. Okay, at least we have Kiwi. Oh, but she took. Oh, she took the stone singer! God damn it. She took the stone singer. <laughs> Uh, you as well, and all guard, I guess. What is that? Will. Sure, let's go with that. I was going first, okay. 
Uh, who's first? You? No? Who's first? This guy, okay. They don't overlap, so we can just go like this. This means he would be in... No, oh, he wouldn't be in his range. Who's next? This guy, and I don't want him to be hit. Here. And it would overlap. God damn it. Why you just have to... Oh! Okay... Who's next? This guy. She would get hit from him. Or not. Something. Bloody fail. I'd rather have him hit for 11. No, he got the egg. Target enemy is confused. Thanks. He's dead. Um. Source always armory. Uh, <laughs> okay, one more. Four more. Maybe it will help. What happens with them? So bound. Oh, because it's this guy. Oh, she's, she's not dead yet. Jesus. Oh, finally, they're somehow close. Mm. 
Ei se muntakin. Joo. Can't really move. So you are fine over here. Get this armor down. <laughs> Where's your body? There it is. There it is. No, where's oh it's over there. Oh, he's done. Doesn't matter anyway. <sighs> how? How does that work? Strength damage. <laughs> well, he can do three, six. I want to stop. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hit him. He's not dead, which means he will take his stun, but it will be useless. are becoming more relentless. It's still out there, you say, unnerved that something as much as Bellower can slip secretly through the darkness. You wrap your sore neck as you step quickly over both bodies. Keep your eyes open. The body of Bellower, Bastion, right, is in our 
Parang, ain't it? Complaints of aging, aching feet, and sore bags somehow takes away to our front. Or maybe you sense something from the corners of the eyes. Tall frame of viral bulbs from within approaching the an approaching light bubble, and the caravan is eager for details. You should have seen Kromr, as he says in his speech. We're not out of this yet, but he bought some time, time and he paid for it. Don't mind the others not to waste opportunity, and their pace quickens. Warp dread bodies ornament this hill like cr crenellations. Some sitting or slumped, all dead. What happened here? groans Valgar, the wall over his foot. Hundreds can be seen from the hilltop, and they look suspiciously arranged. This wasn't battle, Valgar continues, noting the same. Do not, Eowyn have nothing to add. Wait, what if this is a warning or some kind for something ahead? I inspect briefly. The dredger's weapons are stored, but they each suffer the same piercing wound. They have no signs of food or supplies, and something feels wrong about the way they sit. Loosely propped up in a circle looking at each other, it suddenly dawns on you. Mass suicide. These dredge appear to have entered each other before the darkness reached them, rather than be twisted alive. It leaves a pit in your stomach. Wonder if the survivors in Arboran might do the same. Raven leaves the macabre scene behind. A white tower that looked like a toothpick when I first saw it now soars above our heads, dwarfing any structure made by kings or wow. This is where our troubles began, and with luck, where they will end. In the back of your mind, you always knew it was coming. A fearsome figure stands before the White Tower, before a crowd of warp terrors. Oh, third door, you didn't make it. <laughs> Knew I'd see your smiling faces again. I was expecting the serpent myself. The serpent got a path for the mean straight to this place. Remember the quakes near the cliffs and put the pieces together. It must be getting pretty desperate if it brought you here to do with us. Well, on the contrary, it seems like a great idea to me. Go ahead and try some mind tricks, see what rage really looks like. This is the last chance for reason, Bower. The ravens can survive this. They're not mine, which. You know, I saw this place in my dreams. So this is where the folk did all their dare to treat deeds. All your powers. Never thought I will end up t t taking the dredge side. Stopping us now would be the biggest mistake you've ever made. Wrong. I once ate a, a yog that was dead for over a week. But let's cut to the chase. I didn't come to kill ravens or infer the trail child killer. Moses X at a paling a wind. I'm here to kill the sniveling little bastard who caused all that. No hole to jump down this time. Okay, but now we have Soul Stone Singer. Uh he has to be there. Of course he has to be there. Why wouldn't? I like him. <laughs> I like having him. Oh, I'll take. I'll give you this. And take the other one. Okay, those are shards. I think warped volatile crystal, volatile crystal sarsen, shots flying on his track. First is Ivan. I forgot his name for some reason. Then it's Kiwi. Then it's you. Um, Alfrun. 
Uh, uh, then it's A wing, and the last is R stone singer. Let's move like this. So I want to see what happens if I do this. Oh. Okay, now I know. <laughs> like this. Thank you. And she can kill herself. What a shape. Mm. Okay, doesn't. Are, are you tre? You are s no. You are viral. You are trash, and you have lots of health. So never mind. You don't. And he has also some of his armor. A quick. Oh no. Okay, I'll from you. I need you to go back a bit. And strength of. Yourself? <laughs> no. I still don't get how this works. So just attack him, I guess. Oh, come on, leave the guy. And they all run away. Oh no, 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 he will explode as well. This way. Wait, 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 because you can kill this guy. You're annoying, you know that. Half of me, uh, okay. It's, all, it's something. Oh, those two are there as well. Ooh. Closer to our food. Yep. No. Mm. Resisted. He resisted.
Okay, so finally we can get something else instead of I win. <laughs> Need to get over here. I think I'm swapping here. Maybe we can do this? Oh my god. I guess we have to get who's next? That guy. And get over here. All we need is here. Nice. And you will keep on healing. Okay, Arc Lightning would be great now. Umbridge? Yes. Wait, no, no, use it. God damn it. No, 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 I use... Hey, get, out of, get out of the way. I guess on him? No, on him. Oh, no, no, it only... Interests the amount of enemies hit doesn't matter. Ah, you're still useless. Yes, but we run. I blocked him. Good job! To start eating him down. Come on, yeah, move over here, please. Wait, this. Oh, I have no idea that even the this going up can spread. Bye.
Kill them. Is yep. <laughs> Wait, can you get? Nope, you can't get over there. How far can he go? He will have the blood first. The boss is playing. more and I don't even ha 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 I don't have anyone I can do that wait wait I can I can't I can't so instead of you no we have to make it work <laughs> And of course they start. Oh. One of them? What? Oh, that screws up with my plan. Of course. Oh, fucking This one can no one can get here. Alright. You have oh. insult. It's the guy. But it matters. Here we go. Way too soon. You stand with her. That hurts. He gets more armor and blue power that way. Ah, you forgot about this. You know, so I don't want to hit anymore. And now they form kind of a shield. Well, we're going to kill it. Can you insult her? Can you insult this guy? Thank you. Oh, 
doesn't matter what she dies because she doesn't die. <sighs> and she doesn't even lose. No. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, go like this, go like this. Oh! Hey. Please. I can't stop. You know what? The best thing you can do is go over here and hit this. Doesn't matter apparently. Doesn't matter. Are <laughs> you kidding? Just in case that he doesn't hit. Exactly. Well, you will hit. No, there's nothing you have to be said about that. You will some hit. And, uh, can you confuse him? Yes, you can. Please don't tell me he has to be killed last. Sorry. Okay, okay. There's nothing else I can do here. Alright, I see. You could confuse him again. Yeah. Oh, sure. It doesn't seem. Uh, it doesn't seem good. Now it's a bit better. Keep 
forgetting that she's over here as well. Yeah, eat this. Please. Yes. Okay, we've got this. We will win. As if he doesn't die right now. Um. Resist. Okay. He keeps holding on. I'm amazed. Oh. He can't deal enough damage to go through his armor and he just keeps resisting death. Yes, I know. A lot, <laughs> a lot were hurt. That's a lot, though. You glance up. The white tower is much taller than you imagined. Tall enough to reach a sun. You wonder? A trick of perspective? No, there really are that many stairs. Bulwark doesn't look right. Still as he is, but he doesn't rise again. Raven stare, wearing a wide range of emotions on their faces. You have no time to gape yourself. You track Awin toward the tower where the stairs spiral upward beyond sight, and you take the first of many, many steps. Only we few remember it now. I think I won't stop now. We will end it today. Quickly, the top of tower is just up these stairs. This is crazy. I still can't believe that's an actual stun, and you're really going to put it back in the sky somehow. Anyway, you know, there has to be some other way. I can't. You can! We've come this far. Wait, do not. Wait. If this is really happening now, give me a moment. Do not aim with embrace one final time. And would whisper something meant only for her, and then you are forced to move on. The world lives or dies here. This is it. A 
At the center of the tower, Julian sits out upon the pedestal, and Erwin reluctantly begins his task. Juno hoves in the air, immobilized. It looks peaceful as it finally can go of the burdens she had carried this far, and you hear a familiar rumbling. No. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. The serpent raises its stuttered head to the tower top. It speaks in an ancient tongue as before. Be gone, creature! You don't even have the strength to crush this tower anymore. The serpent continues its slow, undulating speech, like smoke crawling over sea water. Erwin stops, he's listening. Oh, so far, so far, Phil. What does it want? It is giving up. It wants to make a deal. Half a prophecy of extinction, it says. Darkness will lift and it will spare Arborang. It consumes only half the world. Half the world? In exchange for what? Juno's energy. If I release it to the serpent, Juno will be gone, but she won't suffer. You can tell Erwin is seriously considering it. Mm, this. You're going to tra trust this thing to keep his sword. I am negotiating with it. Negotiate with me. Erwin returns his attention to you, frustration on his face. Behind him, the serpent still slithers in, res in resentment at being ignored. Don't you understand what is happening here? How could I? It's been nothing but lies and secrets since we first met. What choice did we have? Try to imagine if I told you the truth when we met. It was hard enough convincing anyone to listen in the first place. I can sing home when I begged you to wait for Juno. How long did you wait? Not even a single day. And that, after all I did in Einar to save the world from complete extinction. No, if you knew the truth, you would have drowned me in that lake yourself. I couldn't even trust you to save yourselves. So you decide who is to be saved. That's not what I mean. What's the point of this, Ivor? Supporters and clansmen can keep killing each other over petty disputes? So far, Andred can go on destroying each other over ancient history. Even after realized the Dread were only fleeing the darkness, same as the rest of us. Even after discovering the Dread child dying in the snow, an infant, which we took in, we kept it alive. Everyone was ready to slaughter it like a pig. And yet, the Dread Child lives on, even now. So maybe one in thousand is spared. Is this really what you want to argue right now? Look, you've made good points, but try to put yourself in my position. Ask to wait the fate of the world against the loved ones. Would anyone choose the world? The serpent slithers anxiously. He does not accustomed to being ignored, but Eowyn seems determined to get this off his chest. And we both know how this world really is. Remember Dangor's ghost song? That old woman lies to our faces about who attacked who. Then she mocks us for not butchering that stone her on sight. And even with the truth laid so bare before us, there was a debate. How can we hope to overcome that kind of spite and ignorance, that hatred? What are we fighting so hard to preserve exactly? I will continue to hope until the day there's nothing to hope for. I know you believe that, but you don't know the depths of it the way I do. There was a woman near Orsma River, after we somehow survived crossing the chasm. Some of our own clansmen had tied her to a stake, which they screamed. It was meant to starve to death. You can still see her face, the torture and the pain. Remember how many days she had hung there, starving, before we arrived? Is. It you sound so confident, but you won't. They told us free. Maybe those men lied, or with the sun stopped, maybe they miscounted. We had been there at least seven days already. I could feel her agony in the tapestry. According to the, their own absurd rules, it proves she was no witch. 
she could, she should have been freed. Can you imagine suffering like that for a girl that doesn't even remember you? That's what this is about, isn't it? This is about Juno. I'm not trying to make everything about Juno. I just need to... to believe in what I'm supposed to do. Anyone seems to be swayed by your arguments. The coils of the serpent are wrapping tight around the tower and you can feel its patience from within. When we found Juno's body smashed and broken in the frozen sea, I saw that same fate for us that poor woman starving to death. Suffering, alone, forgotten. Everyone else was so quick to give up on her. I'm grateful that she did not, but that's what you're asking me to do now. I must sound pathetic. <laughs> I realize it has to be hard to sympathize. But maybe all people can. Oh, but maybe of all people you can either. When you stood against Belaware on the bridge at Einartov, I finally recognized you. And I knew what you had done to Reyes and his child. You followed us both to Bo's guard to finish the job. What would you give to have all it back? Don't make Juno suffer and even worse fate. Please, Ivor. Trust me to find a solution. Ewin turns back to the serpent, his body radiating immense power as he speaks to it again. Alfred gives you a severe look, as if to say, Relax! Recall her plan to complete the ritual in place of Eowind. You're going to do something, it has to be now. Eowind, this isn't what Juno wanted. Eowind again stops speaking to Serpent, but this time he turns to you with sorrow instead of anger. Juno has everything this world deserves. Instead, you got me. I'm so tired, Ivor. Courage. This was the hard part. Forgive me, Juno. I love you always. I've never seen anything like the sun coming to life. And I hope I never will again. Stuck with him, just a speck so far above our heads was Juno, who turned the darkness into light. Ivan did not want to leave the sun behind as we departed the inner earth. I expect he will return there often. No warp crossed our path on the long trek home. They've all turned to ash. And now, we are coming to this journey's long end. The same thought rattling around my head the whole way. Do I dare to hope? And that concludes the Banner Saga. I hope you liked it. At least partly I cried it. Well, thank you very much for sticking the life and see you soon. Bye! Somehow I knew they would do it. Whatever it is. But the sun's actually moving again for a long time. It's so looking pretty hopeless. I'm definitely the oldest at this point. The gods are dead, the world turned to dust, and on we go. So, what do we now? What do we do now? Time passes. Life will return. Grass and green will sprout from the dust. Even though Arborang is gone, I believe there are other survivors. We're all in the north, perhaps huddled around godstones. South of the darkness there may be, still be horsebone fleeing across the fields, or ships of men, or dread without thunder. So we rebuild. I just wish that Alette would be here to see this. I have a feeling she did see it, somehow. For a long time now I've been thinking of an epic epic poem. You will never guess the inspiration. Would you care to hear what I've got? It would be a pleasure. Hello smiles and draws his lute from around his back. He sings with a brightness in his voice. Only the sun has stopped with keen edged sword. Little did they sleep, lest they not boom. Bury the weight of the sun out of our bones, the hills, the slayer and the slain, and the homeless must all flee. 
and cause their home into the air. To speak in all tongues where a foe may lurk, destined day shall come. The feathers will bear as brothers fight and keep ship stain, and in fear quake all. The true hero comes reluctantly, raising hard a shining light. Alas, the sea is still dead and white, the hounds are a hey hunger. We live as we live. We live as we will live, with the mighty grief that was ours and theirs, only a few remember it now. Leo rests his throat and then gives a little cough to indicate his thumb. It's not bad as far as poetry goes. Like any good historical account, it could use some verses, more verses at the end there. Alas, you're right, it certainly could.